I'll make you a bet then. If in Qatar, if we do well, then I'll, I'll personally do you a dance. That sounds a bit wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> Hi, I'm John Stones, and this is Box to Box. I've got loads of boxes to open, not got a clue what is inside of them. I'm excited to find out. It's not a bad start, is it? <laughs> Toby Tyke. When I was a scholar um, at Barnsley, we were ball boying, so at half time we'd come in, we'd go into like the kit room because it's warm. And what's what's left in there? Obviously the Toby Tyke outfit, so we'd get dressed up in him and pretend to walk out like with the with the teams because the the tunnel is is right next to um, the kit room. So that kind of reminds me of Toby Tyke of us dressing up in him. Was that your first appearance for Barnsley then? I <laughs> could say so, yeah. <laughs> It's where, it, where I started, it's all I knew until 18. Got my opportunities from there and, and, and my first start at everything, so I definitely don't forget my, my journey there and, and what it meant to me and obviously playing for my hometown as well, it's extra special. Yeah, a lot of happy memories there. Love it. What have we got here? I saw John Stone score at Rochdale. <laughs> I'm going to leave that one there. What was it like, 17 years old, scoring for your hometown club? Yeah, it was an incredible feeling. Span around the back, ball comes in, remember heading it, goes in so slow, and waiting for it to kind of go under the keeper, and I think the keeper came out spreading himself. And then, yeah, it got, um, went in and I ran off to the fans and didn't have a clue what I was doing. I remember uh, there was like a little picture in the back of the programme to do with dental or like come and see this dental practice in Barnsley because my, I was just smiling that much from, from scoring and running over to the fans. What's your drink of choice out of that mug? <laughs> I'd put Yorkshire tea in that one. <laughs> no, I like it. I look kind of young though, don't I? No comments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to peek around there. This one. That was justice in a picture. Very special moment um, in in a, such a high pressured moment for uh, me and the, and the team uh, beating Colombia in the penalties. After well, I've said it before, and dirtiest team I've ever played. Horrible trying to spoil the game. I just remember them coming back from, from walking to the penalty spot. I think it was Yerry Mina. Every time he'd come in front, he'd, he'd uh, go to every player, look over at us, start shouting. Remember him kicking the penalty spot. So Eric scored the uh, sixth. I think I was seventh in, in line. I'm so glad Eric scored. Because I wasn't ready to take that penalty. <laughs> but yeah, that was, that was us turning back to them. Oh, you can see him there. Big, big H next to me. It was me and him that turned around and uh, kind of gave it to him in, a, in our own little way. And the thing that I, my parents told me from growing up is you beat him with football. And, and that, that day, we, we literally did that. Yeah, I, I love that picture, to be fair. With the Euros final, it was all the lads that, that took penalties were ready to take penalties. And I'm sure in their mind, believed that they, 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 that did score. To see them not, was so difficult. I wish I wish I'd taken one now instead of them, because I'd rather me have that that disappointment on me than them. Be ready for the next one, though. Definitely. First five, you, you stepping up? I, w I will do this time, yeah. Where are you going to go? I'm not telling you. <laughs> Hopefully, the back of the net. What have we got here? Ah, I think I know where you're going with this one. Is it Bernardo's dog? <laughs> I don't, I don't. Bernardo said to me, oh, if I get a dog, John, I'm gonna call it John. John Stones. So I was like, all right, why? He said, because I want every time that I get my dog or shout my dog, I'll think of you and telling you to come to me like I own you. Anyway, the next minute he gets a dog and I said, oh, nice, Bernardo, what you got? I got, um, 
French Bulldog, I've called it, I've called it John, like I said, over there. I said, oh my God, here we go. And then it's just stemmed from there and he brought, he brings his dog into training and yeah, you can imagine what goes on in the, in the changing room then. We've got a good relationship, me and Bernard, so for him to have a dog and for his missus to accept him, to, to call it John as well, you must like me, so I'll take it as a compliment in some way. Do you want to just give one of them a little no? No chance. <laughs> no, because that'd give Bernardo more fuel, wouldn't it? Here we go. <laughs> I think I was his second sign in to, to City. Lessons out of, of, out of knowing football and knowing how to beat teams or beat different things or systems. I thought, like, I honestly thought I knew football to a decent degree after I left Everton. After I, I turned up and started training after a week or two, I thought I literally know nothing about football. How his mind thinks about football and how he um, expresses that over to us as players to get us to do what he wants and what he thinks and what he believes is an incredible. And then obviously the trophies that come with that, he speaks for himself. It's because he's, he's done it everywhere and, and he's still got that hunger now to, to go and do more and more. What would you like to be in the boxes? Nothing scary for a start. Some chocolate or something nice, a little medal or something. What would you not want to be in there? I don't want an animal jumping out on me. I feel like he's done me a bit with this. <laughs> I'll go with this one. All right. I don't know how I'm going to get it out. I can see why I was being careful now. <laughs> it's just a good cake, isn't it? A bit of chocolate on top. Look at the sides of it. I can't eat that though now. I'd like to, but. It's got special occasions on it. I feel like Brucey Bogtrot now, do you know? <laughs> I can smell it already from here, actually. It's a strong one. Big Bruce. Ah, <laughs> oh, you would have made me dance. <laughs> Moving on. We're not having any moves? Nah, I ain't got any moves, have I? I think there's online video there's footage, footage proving that you've got... Do you know how good moves. technology is nowadays? I'll make you a bet then. If in Qatar, if we do well, then I'll, I'll personally do you a dance. That sounds a bit wrong, doesn't it? So, What dance are you going to do? I'll do the shuffle. I was going to say I'd choreograph something, but it's not me, that is it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed playing Box to Box with me today. Like, comment and subscribe.